All right. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. All right. And the brother Atazaria. All right. The brother Abaja. We're from the GMS Houston camp. And uh, came across this little old article, man, in uh, Business News on RT News. Uh, it says, I'm going to just read the article and we're going to get right into it. It says, Goldman Sachs loses clients money over failing investment in Venezuela, what they dubbed as hunger bonds. And you sit here and you read the article and I uh, enlarge it and then read it. And by the way, just as a side note, Goldman Sachs is some of these so-called Jews, man, these Amalekites, okay? And um, I'm going to read the article. It says, the U.S. banking giant Goldman Sachs bought $2.8 billion worth of bonds issued by the Venezuela state oil firm PDVSA for just $865 million. Move this up here. However, what seemed to be a great deal is now making Goldman a loss. Okay? I'm going to squeeze that down and slide over and get the rest of the article. It says, uh, maturing in... Okay, come on. In uh, 2022... Is supposed to gain 31 cents on the dollar. Venezuela's opposition controlled Congress criticized the purchase as making a quick buck off the suffering of the Venezuelan people. The assets were dubbed hunger bonds. However, as things stand now, the bond purchase that was supposed to make a quick profit has turned unprofitable. Okay? And here you see a, a, a shot. Of people in Venezuela down there suffering, man. You know, it says Venezuela, you know, the people are furious at Goldman Sachs for making a quick buff off of its suffering people. All right? Right. You know, because what happened was, or uh, what's taking place is Venezuela, they down there in a bad situation right now. They catching straight up pure hell, man, because their economy is failed. Right, behind Esau. Exactly. You know, their economy is failing. I mean, cause, mm. bro, their economy is failing. By uh, doing business with, with Esau. With the devil. Right. And as the scriptures say, never trust your enemies. Okay? Now, with this whole uh, hunger crisis going on down in Venezuela, with the uh, a suffering economy and all that type of stuff, the so-called white man swooped right in and, and is taking advantage of you jakes. Right. Being in a, a pitiful condition, man. Right. And he his whole objective was to come in there not to help y'all get back on y'all feet right. or, or boost your economy, but to make money off of your suffering, man. Right. Okay? And we got some scriptures. We're going to go into these scriptures and prove to you because everything that we look at, what you're supposed to be doing is when you get these articles and you find this information, you filter it back through the scriptures. Okay? Right. So our uh, people can understand what's going on around them, man. All right. So uh, I read. Okay, it, come on. We we'll just we we'll just start. Yeah, we we'll started, Michael. Started two and uh, right. come on. Uh, started two and one. Yes, come on. All right. This is Micah chapter two, uh, verse one. It it reads, "Woe to them that devise iniquity, and work evil upon their beds." When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Right. And it is in the power of a, a, a firm like Goldman Sachs. You know, they have that power, man. This is an international international banking company, man. Or investment firm, rather. You know? They worldwide. So, yes, it's in the power. If you have billions of dollars to invest into anything, right. then it's in the power of your hand right. to make some changes in the world, man. You got power. Yeah. Money is power. Okay? You was going to say nah, something? No, nah. no. Oh, come on. Shit. Uh, yeah, with Salaki, I will say something. The most I'm saying he going to destroy them, you know? Destroy them that devise, you know, uh, iniquity. Meaning, plan out iniquity. Okay, they sit down, they brainstorm how they gonna uh, commit sin. Yep. You know what I'm saying? 
and they they will they whole thing was we gonna come up we gonna we gonna rob these people of their basically we gonna cheat them we gonna rip them off yep so we can come up yep and make big money that's devising iniquity yep you know because Venezuela is rich in uh, resources man you know but Esau got so many sanctions on them and all kind of stuff because the Venezuelans they hate America, man. Don't, don't, the, the people in Venezuela, they hate America, man. For the way that, that, that America has, has, has done them. All right? Along with, with many other places, many other countries, man. They hate this whole. Okay? That's why the scriptures is going into a woe to them. All right? Woe meaning destruction. Right. Okay? And Esau is going to pay for this, you That's know? That's right. Cause he, you know, this is a, a prime example through this article that's being brought out. But what about all the other right. atrocities that this man then committed? He came up off gas. He say shit. Yep. Oh, we're going back to uh, Christopher Columbus. Yep. And you got uh, Thanksgiving coming up. Yep. Thanksgiving coming up uh, this coming Thursday. And uh, Esau came up. He said, "Wow, look at this. We can go over there and we can take their land and we can we can." Prosper off of it. Yeah. Make big, big, uh, big, uh, money off yep. of it. You know? A big corporate enterprise off, off, uh, the Native American and the Seminole Indians and the Issacharite and all the, the tribes yep. uh, land. You know? That's right. All right. Let me go to verse two. Uh, I'll just start back from right. the con. All right. Micah two and one. <laughs> Woe to them that devise iniquity. And work evil upon their beds. And working evil. Evil means bad time, man. And that's what they doing. They working evil upon their beds, man. Right. Because, as you can see, look at them people, man. They down there digging. They eating with the dogs in the trash, man. Look at all them people lined up and shit. Okay? And that's you Jakes, man. That's the that's northern tribes down there. Alright? Here it is. Why not you you got billions of dollars to invest into something not they didn't invest in it for the, the benefit of the Venezuelan right. people, man. They invested it for their for the people that invest into their company. Right. So they could make money. And they don't care how they make money, what what it is. They making the money off of you, Jake suffering, man. Right. They're called hunger. They deem dubbed they say they the hunger bonds. It hunger bonds. Paint that something. In other words, just spitting in your face. But you niggas still don't think you got an enemy, man. And y'all right. down there, they gonna be praying to Caesar. They gonna pray to Mary, the uh, the Virgin or wherever. You know. Right. Right. They gonna pray to right. their idols. Right. And your idols ain't gonna get you out of that shit, man. Right, cause you got like this brother that brought out to me. Uh, they they need to get bonds off. They trying to sell, right? You know, to to help they uh the economy the economy out there. So they say let's let it go for for cheap. We had like we gotta let it go for cheap. Yeah. We gotta get what we can get, basically. Right. And Esau said, shit, they gonna have to take what we give them. Yep. You know. Mm, uh, one thing Esau do, and they showed it in the Boondocks, the little cartoon. They had a place called uh, it, the the name of the episode was uh, when Grand I can't even think of the name, but the the grandfather in the uh, cartoon had a a restaurant. It was a soul food restaurant, the Itis. All right, but it was across the street from a place called Metal uh, Metalark Park. So what Esau did was he let crime. And uh, the place just fall in, dilapidate, and just get, you know, uh, right. just turn into bad conditions. That way he can go in there and swoop it all up for pennies on the dollar, man. Right. And that's how they do. Right. And then what do they do after they, they buy it? They gentrificate, man. Right. They move all you niggas out the way and tear all that old shit down, put up all new stuff that you can't afford. You can't afford the property taxes. You can't afford to live that nothing. Right. You niggas can come there and clean up 
and do whatever little uh, manual labor that need to be done and then get back out of here. Right. You know? And that's how they do, man. There's no way that Goldman Sachs couldn't have went in there and said, you know what? Here go a billion dollars. Put this in y'all's economy so y'all people can, you know, right. have a decent life. No, they came in there buying up bonds because the Venezuela state-owned uh, PDVSA was selling it for cheap because they need the bread, man. And Goldman Sachs took full advantage of the situation, man. That's why we going into the scriptures. Woe unto them, man. It's a lock it, bro. Come. Go ahead. All right, it says, uh, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Yep. They covet fields and take them by violence. And they do that too, you know? But they coveted Venezuela's bonds right. because they was cheap. Right. Now, they didn't take it by violence, so to say, you know, but you have other, um, like the brother brought out about uh, Gad and uh, Reuben, you know, and, and Issachar. Right. They took them fields by violence, man. And, uh, Puerto, Ri Puerto Rico. Yeah. Puerto Rico. Uh, right. You know, you Ephraimites, man. They call it now. We gonna call it the the Puerto Riches. Yeah, yeah, con. That's you what know? you niggas like to be called, Puerto Ricans. We gonna call you the rich port people. Right. You this know, this the rich port, and they came and they took it. Right. They took they took the, the riches of the of the, of the uh, land, as they do every time. All right. Con. Uh, it says, and take them by violence and houses, and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man and his heritage. Yep. And you know, we have great examples of them suppressing a man's heritage, man. As you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans call yourselves just that. Instead of calling yourselves Israelites, which is your heritage, man. And it's been suppressed from you by Esau, the so-called white man, okay? Um... Get uh that Proverbs twenty two, okay. come. On. Proverbs chapter twenty two, verse twenty two, and it reads, "Rob not the poor, because he is poor." <laughs> that, break that down, <laughs> now. <laughs> Shit. Golly, ain't that something? Ain't it? Then the scriptures say, "Rob not the poor, because he's poor." I say, well, shit, they poor. We can get them. We can take them. Just wait. We're going to wait till it bottom out. And then right. we're going to buy it for pennies on the dollar. Right. Look at them people, man. They down there eating out the garbage. It's more have-nots than haves, man. Rob not the poor because he's poor. Right. Well, shit, they ain't got like them. They already don't have nothing. Well, we, they poor. We're going to take everything they got. Every last crumb. And that's really what's going on today. When you work your jobs, yep. you're getting robbed. Yeah. You poor, and then before you get your check, they rob you of your money. It's your federal taxes, you know? Federal taxes, Social Security uh, tax, basically. Yep. You know? Before you get your money, they didn't they they have them grab, grabbed in it. Yep. You know? And I say you you uh you 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 on child support, and you poor. You got a minimum wage. Well, this is a low paying job. Yeah. They taking it. They taking what out of that check before you get it. Yep. You know, if you old, if if you get to certain points, and with federal debt, they get they got the power to go and garnish your wages. They yep. don't care if you poor. At all. You know what I'm saying. They don't care if you bringing home three cents a paycheck as long as they get theirs out of that check. Now, how you supposed to get back and forth to work? One. Two, how you supposed to maintain your bills and your own livelihood? You can't. And then you, when you're poor, you can't fight back. That's nope. why I say rob not the poor because he is poor. Because when a man is poor, he really, he really can't defend money himself. Money is a defense. Right. You ain't got no money. How you going to get a lawyer? How you going to defend yourself? You have no resources to get out there and get yourself heard. What, you going to catch a bus downtown to protest? Rob not, a, rob not the poor because he's poor, man. 
You shouldn't uh, rob the poor. You should be helping them. That's why this world is in the current condition that it's in, man. Because the rich rob the poor. One percent on all of them, they every all the stuff in this world, man. One percent of people, man. And the rest of everybody else is, is is way, way behind. Okay? All right. Uh, I'll read it from the top. Proverbs 22, verse 22. Rob not the poor because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. <laughs> and them people down there are right. uh, going through affliction. They're going through famine. And we understand that it's judgment from yeah. the Heavenly Father. You know, it's judgment. Uh, but that don't... The Most High still going to judge Esau for going in there and and, uh, and taking advantage when the people are afflicted. Right. You know? It say you're oppressing them. They already catching hell. You're right. going to put more oppression on them. That's Esau's MO. When they oppress, afflict them. Yep. Put affliction on them. That, you know? That's why well, we're going to get it. But in the Apocrypha, who always show up when some shit go down, man? Who the first one there every time? The so-called white man. Every time it's some shit, Esau showing up smiling, talking about, we here to help. No, man, you there to rob, steal, and to kill, because that's all you've ever done. That's your M.O. Hey, when you go, I'm going to hit, hit, hit back on the child support thing. You go in there with, for the woman, we here to help. The woman run down to the state, to Esau, so you can understand, to the so-called right. white man, because he runs the state, you know what I'm saying? He runs the government, he runs the different departments, yep. and all that. So, she run to him, and she think, I'm going to him to get help. Even though she got, you know, this wicked woman, she going there to, to line her pockets, you know? But in their mind, they really think that child support is set up, so that, you know... Because Esau cares about the kids. These <laughs> yeah. dumb black bras, man, they really believe that, damn, Esau is here to, to help. No, sir. What is, what is, uh, what is that? Is it Medicaid they get? Medicaid, CHIP, all that shit. You know what Tanif. I'm saying? And then when you go in there, you a poor man. Most people that get put on child support don't all got All poor. Don't got big money. Right. You know? And you go in there, and they, and they say, okay. We gon' he already afflicted, you know what I'm saying? We gon' we gon' go ahead and and uh, knock him down some right, more. Right, knock oppress him some more. You know? Damn, boy, it's, it's wickedness, man. Right. That was it in Proverbs. Yeah, that's it. Okay, come. We we'll go straight to Sirach then. Twelve right. and uh, seventeen. All right. This is uh the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 12, verse 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Who asked? Start at 16. Bible okay. Pashat. Salakia. All right, verse 16. Sirach 12 and 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, <laughs> but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Of course, we'll take. We'll take them bonds off of y'all's hands. Right. You know, we see that your your government and your people are struggling. So look, we're willing to invest uh eight hundred and sixty five million dollars. La da 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 da. Right. Even though they're worth two point eight yeah, billion. Right. It take a thousand millions to make one billion. You're not even putting a thousand millions in. You're putting eight hundred and something million. You know how much fucking come up that is, man? But, but the scriptures say, never trust your enemies, man. Go ahead, all right. All right. Um, he will weep with his eyes. <laughs> he saw. But if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Right. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt shall find him there first and okay then that's the that's it man every time something happened esau show up first man talking about we here to help no you there to see what you can get 
out of the deal, man. Right. Esau don't do nothing for free, man. Right. Or yeah. out of kindness of his heart. It's, it's a, go ahead, brother. Well, the scripture says he will he will not be satisfied with blood. That's right. So it's basically nothing that basically saying he can't be satisfied. Right. Just like the damn nigga woman. Yep. Just you can't there's nothing you can do to satisfy him, you know what I'm saying? Prince said that in the song, when doves cry. He said, Sometimes you're like my mother. She's never satisfied. She's never she satisfied. Yeah, no never man. satisfied, man. It don't matter if you got millions and billions of dollars and you buy this bitch the world, she, now she want the moon. And once you get the moon, now she want Pluto, Mars, and Saturn, and every other planet. Okay? So it ain't never, you can't satisfy them, man. Right. Okay? All right. Uh, and though he pretend to help thee, <laughs> Yet shall he undermine thee. Yep. Uh, yet shall he undermine thee. Yep. Uh, he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. Right, like old chameleon. You know, he'll switch up on you. Whatever he got to do to make you believe <laughs> that I'm he really did it, I'm here to help you. <laughs> yeah. He'll do it. Right. You know? That's why we call him the devil. The word devil means deceiver, man. He's a deceiver. And why we call him Satan? Because he's the adversary. Okay? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, man. And if here it is 2017, and if you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans can't see that by now, the Heavenly Father ain't dealing with you, man. Right. Now you going to uh, uh to pay a, on a traffic ticket, man. Number you already basis. poor. Yep. You you barely you making it paycheck barely making it paycheck to paycheck, and then they give you a ticket for two hundred and fifty three hundred and fifty dollars, which is probably more than half your check. You know, after two weeks, and then you go in there and you see all these other people that's in the same predicament for the most part. Because when you really go in there, most of the people are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yep, and they got you lined up, putting you on payment plans for nothing. Money is going to the courts behind you violating or uh, committing a traffic violation. Right. This man is the damn devil, man. Right. You know? That was it, on, got, that's yeah, it on That's pretty much come. it on that, man. You know? And we're not going to make it long. We just right. wanted to touch on that article, man. You know, just showing the so-called white man is the devil, man. Yeah, at it again. Uh, at it again, man. He ain't gonna stop till we get out of here. And he know his days is short, so he gonna be pulling out more punches. You gonna see, you niggas gonna learn. When we say niggas, we mean all you two thirds of the tribes, man. Y'all gonna learn that you got an enemy and that this man don't care nothing for you, man. Or anything that got to do with you. Okay? You had something out? Nah, that's it, man. No. So with that, man, once again, we're going to give our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, and peace and blessings to the elect, man, to the next time, Shalom. Shalom.